Uh, Michael, another story. Ray Rice is reportedly appealing his indefinite suspension. Does he have a good case here? Well, at some level he does, Maggie. I think partly because the NFL hasn't clarified under what policy he's been punished under. Is it under the domestic policy, domestic violence policy? Well, if that's the case, why isn't it six games? Is it under the personal conduct policy? Why, and if it is, why is it indefinite? And of course, it gets back to the question of what did the NFL know? We have reason to think that the NFL had some awareness of the second video. Why was he punished under the second video if the NFL already knew about it? It puts the NFL in an awkward position. And also, there's language in the CBA that could help Rice. There's Article 46 which talks about not double punishing a player. He's gonna argue he's being double punished. He was already punished once, this is a second time. There's also Article 17, which talks about any collusion. Could the NFL and its teams be colluding against him? These are interesting arguments that would have to play out in a hearing. He could also sue the NFL in addition to, in addition to pursuing this internal review process. What I think he's doing, Maggie, is trying the internal approach first. If that fails, I bet he sues the Ravens and the NFL. Okay, so Ray Rice may have a few avenues to potentially get back into the NFL, but Ben, do you think a team would sign Ray Rice? You know, I think that first of all, the public relations hit would be quite severe, obviously, depending on when this happened. Um, second of all, you know, as a player, Ray Rice was declining. 28-year-old running back, 3.1 yards per carry. Obviously, those considerations pale in comparison to a lot of the other ones we're discussing here. But, you know, I, I think that, yes, I think he would probably be given a chance by somebody somewhere down the road. But, you know, I, I think that as far as being a productive running back and getting recouping a lot of the money that he will have lost, you know, if, if he doesn't pursue some legal avenues that will recoup that for him, no, I don't think he has much of a good chance of that. Robert, what about you? Do you think a team would touch Ray Rice right now? Uh, I don't know about right now, but certainly after this season, I think uh, if he's able to demonstrate to either – uh, the Baltimore Ravens are another franchise that he is the model citizen we all uh, thought he was before this incident, that he would get at least one more chance. More pertinent, of course, is the fact that, uh, as Michael mentioned, he was a declining player in the first place, and he's approaching um, that age in which running backs falter, uh, which certainly doesn't seem to affect Adrian Peterson, but has uh, dragged down Ray Rice a bit.